Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster battle playing as Clan Mulder going up against the Vampire Accounts. Now, despite having a Brood Horror Doom stack, uh, the guy just couldn't win this battle, largely because of how many monsters and, like, cavalry that they've got, which basically just pins down the Brood Horrors and then the, the Vargulfs go in there and kill them one at a time. So there's some pretty strong units in here. There's also uh, Blood Knights, which are anti-large. They're going to be quite difficult to deal with. And despite having cellular instability, we have to be very careful with how we use it. If we blow our load immediately at the beginning of the battle, that could serve us badly for the long term here. Our reinforcements are just a settlement garrison, which actually comes in handy here because it allows us not to control large armies. Even though it could be better to have all of their troops on the battlefield just to bop pop down the uh, cellular instability. I don't think cellular instability here is the key to victory. I think hit and run is our main strength. We need to get rid of all of their fastest units first, such as the hex race that have speed of 94. And once we've got uh, speed superiority, then we can use hit and run tactics. But there's a lot of cavalry here and we need to do well to ensure that. See, the main reason why I like the Brood Horror Doomstack is it's not just one thing that it can do. Sure, just sending it in using cellular instability is the usual way of winning battles, but if the chips are down, it does do a good job because of its speed. Alright, now these guys here don't have a mount, so we're just going to keep them over here. I can't withdraw them from the battlefield because we're stuck inside of a settlement, so just keep them out of it all them in a non-locked control group and this one can just go stand over there and hide for the time being okay now this map isn't exactly ideal loads of trees everywhere will just need to sort of not fight in the trees it's not good for us not good for their large units either but we've got a lot of damage dealing stuff here so ideally it doesn't really matter if they get the debuff i don't want the debuff and we're going to need to be doing a lot of running around. It could be good to charge in at that, but I don't think that's going to let us. And want to stay away from them. Okay, let's get started. You guys come over there. Doesn't matter at all about these units here. I just could use them as bait to just keep them back. And like I said, what we want to do is keep them chasing after us. And just take them out a little bit at a time to begin with. Eventually what should end up happening is all their infantry will just basically be left. And then that's when we use the cellular instability and just win the battle from there. So we actually do the hard stuff first, then the easy stuff. Easy stuff being their infantry. So we just want to run past here, get their attention, and then go and fight up on this high ground here. Good that you got the Clan Molder Clanstone, very useful for rapid healing, although these guys of course heal on their own. Alright, if we have a look at Blood Knights, speed 70, we can outrun them. Having one guy go back and drop down the cellular instability, I think this one here is the only one that doesn't have it. Yeah, just one guy on like a Black Knight or whatever. And the cavalry unit could work. But just get up here first. Right, this guy here has been discovered. Not discovered, been caught. Wave them to surround it a little bit. Especially with this one here. Doral, send back up. Just hang on. Alright, go back. Good job, boy. Get out of there. Alright, so this one here I'm going to put into control group 2, along with this one. These are the ones that don't have cellular instabilities. Just an easy way for me to keep track of it. And good, we've taken out three fast units of theirs. Or is it four? We took out a Bat, a Black Knight, Hex Wraith, Blood Knight. Yeah, yeah, it's four units gone. And uh, we took just a little bit of damage. Okay, cool. Any more cavalry units that we need to deal with? Helmand Gorst. Yeah, mostly melee infantry are going to come in first. Watch out for our fatigue as well. Oh, 
Okay, that's their fastest units dealt with already. That's that's good. They might have some more that'll come in later, but let's worry about that when they come in. Sniping their units as they're coming in could be useful. What are they doing there? Soul Blight. Well, that's up to them if they want to waste their magic. No problem of mine. Just run past that. What's this? Okay, that's a fast unit. Cool. If you can snipe him. Uh, taking out Hillman Gorst early would be good. Yeah, let's do that. Hillman Gorst is not good against monsters. We've got to kill him because otherwise he's going to regenerate. So, get around his back. I'll tell you what, Brute Horrors, they love to eat ass. Do it. Get in there. That guy can be next, but yeah, if we can get rid of Hellman Gorse, that'd be good. Looks like he's got some sort of arcane conduit. Is Liber something? Liber, Liber Noctus. Alright, cool, that one's done. That was easy. Alright, get, get away. We don't want to get caught by these units here. We don't do any magic damage, do we? No, but the cellular instability ability, um, that's... I don't know if it does magic damage. It doesn't really matter if it does. I don't think it does. Because even with 75 or 80% resistance, it's still going to kill them in one hit. That's it. Just lure it away from the infantry. We'll turn around and kill him. And another unit should be coming in to replace Hellman Gorst. Or maybe they actually had 21 units on the battlefield. That's what I'm talking about. It's all just about hit and run. Bit of patience. This is probably one of the things that I think a lot of Total War players lack, is patience. If you have a bit of patience and are willing to hit and run, you can get a lot better results out of your armies, even if you're not cheesing. There's not, I don't think that having patience and like picking your enemy apart is cheese, but whatever. If you never want to do it, don't do it. Uh, that's not good. I don't want to fight them. Okay, you go. No, no, not that one. This one. Get in there. Silly instability time. Good stuff. Good job. Okay, get away. That White King's almost dead, but these Vargulfs, I don't mind fighting them, just not, not around everything else. Let's go, go, go. And this is the real edge that Brood Horrors have over Hell Pit Abominations. Hell Pit Abominations would never get out of these kind of fights. They're too cumbersome. Why are you slow? Oh, because they're doing poison attacks. Come on, come on. Get moving. What is this? Soul Blood again? Withering. Okay, that's fine. Cool, get out of there. Alright, the more reinforced. Like, it's just Crypt Calls, don't worry about it. Uh, crypt Horrors could be good to take out if we can isolate them. Depends if they want to come at us here. Come over here again and just try to not get too exhausted. Because that will lower our speed. But I really would like to get rid of those Vargulfs. They're of the same sort of tier as, as a... Um, Brood Horror, because they regenerate, they're fairly fast, they, they hit hard as well. But they're a bit bigger and a little bit slower, and I don't think they're quite as strong as Brood Horrors. Yeah, Brood Horrors definitely inflict more damage. And they got more health. Alright, they're not coming for us, that's okay, just get some rest in. Alright, Manfred, what's his speed? 73. Okay. Oh, I used a instability. I didn't move him into group 2. Where is he? There he is. Technically, this guy here should be in group 2. He doesn't have a uh, wolf bomb. Very easy for us to get rid of the infantry, but like I said, 
Save that for later. Because we'll get rid of them just super easily. But at the moment, they're nothing more than an inconvenience. It's not a high priority to get rid of them. Okay, who's the most... Okay, you got the most fatigue. I want you to try to lure a unit over here. Is that Manfred? Yeah, try to lure somebody over here. So we can kill them. That's it, Manfred. Come over at me. Basically just using this as bait. That's it. Come eat the rat. Come eat some rat. This is looking good. This is looking good. This would be a really bad loss for them if they lost Manfred this early on. Ready? Go. And then eat that vampire ace. And his army to sit there and watch because he ran ahead. Like a fool. If you give the AI bait, they'll usually take it. Sometimes they will. Not always. But they did this time. And we are trading very well for Bouncer Power. If we have a look here, just click on it. Like, he got a few Spirit Leashes off. For him to only do 2,800 damage to us, that's really bad for Manfred von Karstein. Yeah. Yeah, that was oh, 3,000 damage in total. Very, very bad for him. That's essentially one third of a Brood Horror. For what was essentially their best unit. Alright, now their fastest units are those Vargals. Oh, you know what? Let's move over here. What is this? Crypt Ghouls? Okay, let's go take it out. Good thing as well is they're still quite fresh. Won't need cellular instability on this. We'll just eat that up straight away. Save the cellular instabilities for the big blobs. Yeah. A uh, Hill Pit Abomination stack would never be able to pull this kind of uh, maneuver off. Oh, delicious. As they come here, we just kill them more of a time now. Next, please. Good. Yeah, whole stack against just one unit eats it up too quickly. Next one. Oh, there's two units coming in. Be mindful of them. Go, they're just getting no damage or just free kills for us. It is exhausting us a bit though. That's okay, we got rid of their fastest units. You know, until new ones come in. Alright, we're gonna have to get out of here real soon. Alright, time to bail. But still, that was some good bounce of power gain for us. Good movement. So you don't even need to really use this, the uh, cellular instability in most cases with them. It's just, it's just a bit extra. Alright, I want to lure... I want to lure a Vargulf over to here. I want to kill one. Just one. One at a time would be best. We need to get their attention. Which at the moment... Doesn't want to play ball. That's fine. Hey, if you want to miscast, that's up to you. Doesn't seem like they want to take the bait. Okay, that's fine. Just go back over there and have a rest with the rest of them. See, that unit there is a little bit isolated, but by the time we get to it, all their infantry units will swarm there. Not a good idea to attack it like that. Just patient, get our fatigue back up. Good, recovering.
How fast the Cryptoras? Speed 50, okay. Easily outrun them, but the thing is, they can actually pin us down. Seems they're doing this a little bit cautious now, that's fine. Not being super aggressive. Alright, run back up there. Alright, in this case here now, let's split up. If they split their forces up, we'll pick off whichever one's weakest. Nothing too dangerous about this, but that corpse cart is yeah, it's super vulnerable. We'll kill it really easily. Let's go. Okay, then, with that one dead, another unit or two over here. Good. Need to pull through it, pull through it quick. If we could lure these Vargulfs away, that would be really good. Move it away from Methodist Trips. That's it. Keep moving up this way. That's good. That's good, good, good. That's it. Lure them enough away and get out of the forest. I'm trying to run into them. But this look could be a good way here. Get them. They're doing just fine. This way, this way. Keep luring it out this way. This is good. Just get it out of the forest so we can kill it quicker. This will be fine here. Or even better, here. They're doing just fine. That's it, just lure it over to here, and we should have plenty of time to kill their Vargulfs. Just a little bit more. They're doing just fine. Yeah, go and kill a Mortis Engine, please. And four on one should be fine there, and four on one should be fine here. Oh, Cryptorus came in. Oh, they're absolutely slaughtering it. Good. Good, good, good. They're not doing so well against that one. So, focus on this one here. It's nearly dead. And then we'll send everyone against this one. I just hope here that the Mortis Engine's ability doesn't continue to activate after it's dead. Yeah, so just live a bit, live a bit, live a bit, don't kill it. Is it still active? No, good. Yeah. Okay, there'll be quite a few units coming through here soon. And some of our guys are at their max heals. I don't even need this. Gotta kill that Vargulf. Super useful that we killed off Manfred. Just keep that bog down just for a little bit, please. Come on, guys, take him out. So he's in not amazing shape. Just thinking if now's a good time to use that cellular instability. I'd say not yet, not yet. Okay, everybody over here again. Good, just loads of garbage here. Easy. Ah, uh, okay, that's not good. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. This could actually end very badly for us. 
They're bringing in their cavalry now. I need to get back around this way. We got rid of both Vargulf, so that's good. But now they're going to start bringing in more cavalry. Okay, I need somebody to get rid of this Blood Knight. Cellular, insta a cellular instability is good on this. Just wait for them to crowd around. Come on, come on, come on. That should do it. Later, Blood Knight. Good stuff. Okay, there's going to be more Blood Knights coming. Expect them to come charging at us. So we've got to get moving. I might need to ram through this. Uh, i got to stop these. They're going to pin me down. Alright. Need to sell the instability here because we need to break through. Crowd around me. Victory's in our grasp. That's great, but let's not lose any brute horrors. Precious mutagens have been spent. They don't seem to want to crowd around it. Good, they're gone. Alright, do it now. Cool. Oh, punch through. Punch through. Can easily punch right through infantry units. Loads of mass. Go, 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 go. Alright, who blew up? You, over here. So I just used two, which is the other one? This one. So still got quite a few brute horrors there with cellular instability. Cool. And there's more blood knights coming in. That's fine, just as long as we're not fighting them in addition. Oh shit. Look at this blob that's forming up here. Delicious. Hang on, hang on. If we're gonna do it, we should probably hit those blood knights with it. Alright. So maybe just keep moving up there for now. Have a bit of a rest. But so far, I think it's gone really well. It's all just about patience and knowing when to strike. And not getting bogged down. If you're in a bad engagement, just get out of it. Okay, you get over here, might as well use it. See, if I used all of these, I don't think they'd really do any damage. It's just, these aren't the units that work well against vampire counts. Maybe if they had some zombies. But even if they had zombies, it's not a unit that we need to be concerned about. So a lot of our units have actually reached their max cap for healing now. Just gotta be careful not to keep them in the fight if, you know, short of them getting killed. Let them have a rest. Okay, they've rested. Cool. Now let's get them to isolate their units by sending one group away over this way, keeping a group here. They'll split their forces up into two groups. I think the army with the Blood Knights is in Force March, because they shouldn't be exhausted already. Send the Blood Knights over here, that's fine. We'll go around over there. These guys here don't have uh, cellular instability. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Gotta be out in the open. Come on, come, come for me. They're not splitting themselves up enough yet. Die rolls, no big deal. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, don't worry about this unit here, just whatever. Who okay, cares? Just part of the garrison. Unimportant unit. Actually, you know what? Keep it over there. If it gets killed, it's just distracting a unit. While we make our maneuvers, trying to get these blood knights to chase us. Alright, there we go. So, we use a cellular, cellular instability to get it. And, see ya, bitch. Good, go on. And this guy here group, joins group two. Cool stuff.
Should really just call it Wolf Bomb. Alright. Is there more units coming? Yep. Okay. Vargeists. Alright, let's go kill them. And yeah, if we can kill off the rest of their reinforcements this way. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Land on me. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Put another one of these down, because the, I think the battle's going to end soon. Might as well make some use out of it. And this guy here is damaged. Took them out with these. Yeah, their speed and just their sheer damage is what makes them so good. But they're not tanky, so you got to hit and run. They kill quick, but they also die quick. That's it. Eat them up real quick. Good. Come on, surely their reinforcements are spent. Mortis engine should be at the back end of the the army listing. Okay, just be careful here that the Mortis Engine's ability doesn't apply permanently. Super annoying bug. Just get it crumbling and then leave it be. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Get out of there. If, when, if it's not in melee, it won't activate. Go, go, go. Okay, we're in the clear. Was that it? No more reinforcements? Alright. Um, well, good. Alright, get rid of another unit of Blood Knights. I might not even have to deal with most of their infantry. Let's crowd around me a little bit. Before I drop the bomb. Okay, another unit of Blood Knights gone, and this guy joins group two. Let's go hit that one over there. Yep, they don't have any more reinforcements now, which means they're down to 18 units, I think. And another one dies. Oh, so good. Such a good ability. And there we go. There we go. And that's how you do it. Probably wasted a lot of his warp bombs on the infantry. We just didn't even need to fight them. Because they're not a threat. We need to be dealing with threats, not dealing with shit that just doesn't... Can't hit us. Can't hurt us. Can't catch us. Get out of here, bitches. And there we go. Nobody dies, we're in good shape, they lose everything. And that's how you use the Brood Horror Doomstack properly when the chips are down. And that's why it's better than the um, Hell Pit Abomination Doomstack. Because they can't hit and run, they're too slow. And they're too big. Jeez, he got a lot of units revived. It's a bit unfair. Kill Slaughter! Send a message. What do you need re replenishment for when you just don't take much damage? Alright, now let's just see how... Oh, yeah, the campaign's going just fine. I guess it was just that one battle. And it looks like Manfred's just about dead as well. But yeah, we probably could have done that battle even without warp bombs. Probably would have taken a lot more damage, though. Um, warp bombs definitely did help. Got rid of those blood knights. I didn't use them all up. Just seeing everything else is okay. What's this? 
Uh, this isn't a disaster battle. I mean, this is a this is a really good weapons team army doom stack. I can't imagine this being evenly matched fight, so I can send this back to him next. It's on legendary difficulty, so it would have auto saved here. But yeah, that is definitely not a disaster battle. If you can't win this, I'm I'm confident that he can. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you haven't already.